Hello and thanks for watching Live Free and Cook. My name is Alicia Rossman and today we're using local ingredients from a farm in New Hampshire called New Roots and we're making whole grain English muffin pizzas. For our recipe we'll need cloves of garlic, a bay leaf, olive oil, salt, an onion, tomatoes, sun-dried tomatoes from New Roots, Swiss chard from New Roots, peppers from New Roots, some more peppers, as well as some tomato sauce that we'll be flavoring later and whole grain English muffins. First we'll start with the sauce. We'll use some olive oil here, put it in our pot, and then we'll use our garlics, garlic cloves, place it in the press here. This is a fun thing for kids to do if you have any kids at home. Using some muscle power here. Scrape it off and get it all in. And then we'll get our onion going. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to finely dice an onion without making a mess. So dicing an onion only requires three easy slices. So you go on the base here all the way to the bottom. all the way to the edge of the root there. And then our second slice goes this way. And there you have it. Now if you'll notice, we have very little waste here. I cut it so that the root always stayed at the end so that our onion stayed intact and we had very little mess here. So we'll use about half of what we have here. Place it in the olive oil and let that caramelize so that the onion flavor is nice and sweet. Now don't let any of this onion go to waste. You can put it in the refrigerator or in the freezer for another time. As our onions are caramelizing, we'll add our bay leaf and our salt. Just a little pinch of salt. And the bay leaf. And don't forget our secret ingredient, our lemongrass. Just a little bit. And stir it all together. You'll be able to tell when the onions are done when they start looking a little translucent. And then you know you're ready to add your tomato sauce. Make sure that you toast your English muffins before you start assembling so the crust stays nice and crunchy. Our sauce is cooking and our English muffins are ready, so we're going to start assembling our pizzas. It might seem difficult to eat local out of season, but it's not. It's so easy. So we washed our tomatoes, sliced them in half, and then threw them in the dehydrator. Our Swiss chard was washed, quickly blanched, and frozen. And our peppers were washed, sliced, and frozen as well. Just going to taste our sauce real quick. Make sure it's good. Mmm. The perfect amount of sweet and spiciness. If you have any kids around, let them help here. This is a lot of fun and they can use their creativity to make little faces on the pizza. Okay, so now we'll add the cheese. So when I was a kid, this was my dad's go-to recipe when my mom might not have been home. A lot of dads think, what am I going to feed the kids? But this is really easy and a lot of fun. I'll do this upside down so you can see what I'm doing here. Make a little smiley face. Alright, we're going to broil these until the cheese melts. A 
simple recipe your kids will enjoy both making and eating. Mmm. <laughs> Tastes like freedom.